said, congratulations. And I said, for what? And she said, entertainer of the year. And I said, shut up. All I ever wanted to do is play and sing and tour and make records. Maybe Kenny will just give me one. <laughs> give me one of his. <laughs> yeah, just hand that over. I'll take one of his, what, eight? <laughs> On Headline Country's ACM Preview 2009, thanks to Carrie Underwood, the Entertainer of the Year Award gets a little feminine touch. Kenny Chesney and Rascal Flatts try to make ACM history. Brad Baisley inches ever closer to the big one. And Humanitarian of the Year, Leanne Rhymes. Headline Country starts right now. Hello, everybody. I'm Stormy Warren. Welcome to our special hour-long ACM preview edition of Headline Country. Over the next 60 minutes, you're going to learn everything you need to know about the 44th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards, set to air live on CBS from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas on April 5th. We're going to run down the nominees in each category, give you a glimpse of what life is like in Sin City during ACM week, and we're going to give you the details on how you can get involved in helping pick this year's Entertainer of the Year and Top New Artist. We begin our ACM preview inside the Country Music Hall of Fame, where a quartet of blondes helped unveil this year's award hopefuls. Well, as I mentioned at the top of the show, two of the awards to be given out on live television on April 5th are going to be voted on by you. You've already selected the final three contenders for the Top New Artist Award. We're going to have more on that category a little later in our preview. Well, guess what? This year, you'll get to vote again, not only for the overall Top New Artist, but for the coveted Entertainer of the Year Award as well. A category that got a little more interesting this year when, in the words of Brooks and Dunn, they put a girl in it. It's the Big Kahuna, the Mac Daddy, the Holy Grail of Country Music Awards. The one that shouts to the whole world that you are the Entertainer of the Year. And for the past four years, that title has been owned by Kenny Chesney. But nipping at Kenny's heels is another monster of the arena circuit, Brad Paisley. Oh, sweet Keith Urban is also seeking his first win as Entertainer of the Year. The five-time ACM Award winner has already racked up top new artist, top male vocalist, and Album of the Year trophies. Should he win for Entertainer this year, he would be eligible for the ACM's Elite Triple Crown Award for artists who win in new, top artist, and entertainer categories. With a CMA win for Album of the Year for Troubadour, George Strait continues his unending reign as country's modern-day king. I was a young troubadour when I wrote in on a song. Though he's scaled back tour dates in recent years, his consistent ability to sell out every show he does play, along with his masterful skill of finding perfect songs to send to the top of the charts, keeps George in constant striking position for a return to the Entertainer of the Year podium. And finally, making the biggest splash on the nominee list is Carrie Underwood. My manager called me and um, said, congratulations. I had no idea what she, what she was talking about. She said, congratulations. I said, for what? And she said, entertainer of the year. And I said, shut up. And she's like, no, I'm serious. I started crying. It was amazing. I, it took me a while to actually let it sink in. I had to call a bunch of people first and, and share the good news. Should she win, she would be only the seventh female to win the award and the first since the Dixie Chicks almost a decade ago. Carrie was the top-selling female act on the road last year with her Carnival Ride Tour playing to over 1.2 million fans over 137 shows. Kenny, Brad, Keith, George, or Carrie, all worthy of the ACM's highest annual honor, but only one will be named the Entertainer of the Year. The Entertainer of the Year will be selected using combined votes from both ACM members and viewers of the live broadcast on April 5th. To cast your vote, go to VoteACM.com. We are talking about this year's 44th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards. The big show airs live from Las Vegas on CBS on April 5th. And our job here today is to fill you in on all the nominees for this year's awards. Our next stop, the top male vocalist and top female vocalist categories. When it comes to the guys, all you have to do is take the girl back out of the entertainer list 
and replace her with a big old oaky. Kenny Chesney, check. Brad Paisley, check. George Strait, check. Keith Urban, check. Carrie Underwood, well, no, not yet, Carrie. We're gonna get to you in a minute. This is the top male vocalist category. This can't be happening to me. Okay, Carrie, to quote Toby Keith, now it's time to talk about you. Should Carrie follow her 2006 and 2007 wins with a third in a row, she would join an elite club whose members include Loretta Lynn, Faith Hill, and Martina McBride, all three with consecutive wins as top female vocalist. Reba stands alone in the category with four in a row between 1984 and 1987. When it comes to Album of the Year, the age range of nominees spans almost four decades. The category truly represents the wide appeal of country music to fans of all ages. This is just a dream. But with album sales approaching the three million mark, Carrie Underwood's Carnival Ride could just be her ticket to the top, and it won't be her first time she's been on the ride. The multi-platinum selling star first claimed the category in 2006 with her debut Some Hearts and has so far launched four number ones, So Small, All-American Girl, Last Name, and Just a Dream from her follow-up. 